I'm John Corney from EspressoCoffeeSnobs.com where you can learn everything you need to know about making espresso and espresso drinks at home like a pro. Today I'm going to take you through making a basic espresso shot. Let's go through everything that you need first. Of course you need an espresso maker like this. This model is rather high-end for the home but you can make great espresso with cheaper machines and in another video I'll show you just that with a machine that is not as high-end. You need a conical burr grinder. A what? A conical burr grinder. Not one of those old coffee mills with the blades that spin around. Something like this. You can read more about conical burr grinders on the website. You need a tamper for pressing down or tamping the coffee after you've ground it. A knock box so that between shots you can bang out what's called the coffee puck. That's right. That's called the puck. That's why coffee and hockey go so well together. A vacuum seal container like this one for storing your beans in. So in between making coffee I pump out the air to keep the beans nice and fresh in this container. Before starting make sure you've turned your machine on long enough beforehand to warm up and also if you have a warming area on top of the espresso machine make sure that your cups are out warming up before making your shot. If you don't have a heating area like this, before heat the cup with, cough, uh, with hot water or put it in the microwave. Okay, and one of these stainless steel pitchers, you need one of them, right? Nope, not in my opinion. The best place for this is the trash. And you can read why on my, on my website by searching for the golden rule. Okay, so let's get into business. I'm going to make a double shot. So you heard the hiss as the air came out of the vacuum container. So for a double shot, it's four tablespoons of, of whole beans. So I don't keep beans in the hopper. I only measure them out as I use them so that they stay fresh. So four tablespoons of beans. Take the porter filter from what's called the group head and this uh, grinder measures the shots for me so I've set it for two shots. You'll notice that it looks like there's way too much coffee with this mound here, but actually once we tamp it, you'll find that it's not too much at all. When you tamp, press straight down onto a hard surface. Don't have the tamper at an angle like this. We need the grounds to be level. Press down firmly and wipe off any grounds that are on the sides like that. Okay, put the water filter back into the group head, bring it to the lock position. I'm just going to make an espresso shot, so I put my demi tasse cup under the water filter. Do not use a big cup like this for just an espresso shot. Make sure you use a demi tasse cup.
Okay, your espresso shot should have a head of creamy foam that's called crema on top. That is caramelized sugars from the coffee beans. And this one is looking really good, a nice head of crema. And that's how to make espresso at home, just like a pro. Cheers. Mm. See you next time.